everybody and welcome back to my channel subscription boxes and more with Michelle and I have something brand new for you today and I'm so excited I've been seeing this unboxed on hi Noelle's channel hi Noelle <laughs> and um, I am in love with fall and you may know it's my favorite season I love the colors the smells the sights the sounds the flavors what is this box this is called everlasting autumn they sent me one box and it said it was in my parcel box but somehow between the mail carrier and me it disappeared i didn't get a key for that parcel box somebody else must have gotten it well merry christmas to the one who took my box knowing it wasn't theirs why do people do things like that anyways no negativity guys because we have something wonderful and new to check out on my channel now, the way, reason I know this is Everlasting Autumn is that I cut the tape. Because I was like, what is this? Um, but this is all I've seen. And that's all you've seen. So there is on top a um, booklet that I assume it is um, our spoiler. and so, Oh, there's a recipe in here. Old-fashioned pumpkin pie in a pumpkin. Now, that's something I certainly have never tried. And campfire dough boys. So they even give you recipes, guys. Look at that. Pumpkin pie and a pumpkin. That's interesting, huh? Mm, tells you about the box. Gives you a luxurious sugar scrub recipe. Hmm. Base sugar scrub recipe. An autumn bark recipe. Guys, I'm loving this. All right. So let's see what it says about the box. Oh, let's look in the box. Get a peek. It's got a beautiful tissue paper. And a really pretty sticker there with a fox on it. And look, there's a little something peeking out right there. A little stuffy of sorts. All right. This is the num November 2021 box because they kindly replaced the box for me. About the box. Cook Tavern Soups presents Autumn Harvest Soup Lentil Soup. This delicious fall favorite has a unique blend of red and yellow lentils, peas, brown and wild rice, along with our creative spice mix, makes a grand first course for any fall feast. Add carrots, red wine, and 100% pumpkin puree for a one-of-a-kind gourmet soup made in United States of America, eco-friendly and handmade. Is this like a spoiler? I think it is. Let's just stop there. Let's see if we can find that in here. Um, <laughs> oh, it's this little squeaker. So you could give this to your to your furry friend if you wanted to, or you could set it up for a de uh, decor piece. It is just so cute. Now, my puppies don't like to play with squeakers and things anymore because they're at, at the very least 16. They've grown out of wanting to play with toys. He's only got one tooth. But I think that is super cute and could just sit up on a shelf somewhere and just be cute. It's up there, Mr. Leaf. I think it's like a little maple leaf. And anyway, again, look at this really cute sticker with the fox. Isn't that cute? I'm loving that. I'm going to try not to tear him. Let me get my scissors. I don't want to cut the paper either, but I don't want to... Oh, can I peel the sticker? Ah. Oh. No, we're going to cut around it. There'll still be lots of tissue paper left. And um, because I really love this tissue paper and I can uh, decoupage it if I don't tear up too much of it. It says Hello Autumn all over it. Um, so I'm just going to cut across here and try to save as much of this as I can. Now, down in here, now we can see. All right, we see some leaves. All right, but let's try to find that soup mix they were talking about since we just read a spoiler about it and it is right here cook tavern soups autumn harvest pumpkin lentil that sounds very interesting i am going to cook that up for sure look at that doesn't that look yummy all kinds of lentils and it's got some rice in there well i believe my battery died um shut off anyways so in here, the ingredients are lentils, green and yellow split peas, brown and wild rice, onion, celery, garlic, carrots, red and green bell peppers, spinach, thyme, and bay leaf. And then you just add your chicken broth and two carrots and a cup of canned pumpkin and some olive oil and some salt and water 
and optional is red wine. So look at that, guys. It looks like it's going to make a really yummy winter soup, fall or winter soup, don't you think? I'm going to try it. All right, so there's that. And the next thing let's find in here on the list is B&B &B Farm Co. Autumn Harvest Goat Milk Soap. See the little goat on there in the middle of the bees? Let's take that wrapper off. Very um, professional looking and very artisan, right? Look at the top of that soap. Look at the swirl in there. Beautiful. You know that I have to use artisan and handmade soaps because of my allergies. I get the hives really bad. I mean like huge hives and I look like I've been boiled and it'll last for days. And the cure is prednisone and I get anaphylaxis from prednisone. So the cure for an allergic reaction gives me an allergic, allergic reaction that's life threatening. So I have to be very careful. But I don't have trouble with artisan soaps. It's something in the commercially made stuff. This is made with sunflower oil, coconut oil, olive oil, goat milk, water, sodium, hydroxide, essential oils, and oxides. See, none of that fake nasty stuff that gives me the hives. All right, so what does it say about it? B&B &B Farm Co. Autumn Harvest Goat Milk Soap. This delicious soap will inspire you to carve that pumpkin or maybe even want to rake leaves. Probably not. <laughs> the fragrance of our autumn harvest goat milk soap has a mix of apple, lemon, ginger, fig, caramel, cinnamon, coffee, twigs, and forest, along with the extra creaminess of the goat milk. Made for the shower, but you can also put one in your fall sweater drawer. Hmm. Made in the United States of America, woman-owned, handmade, eco-friendly, and small batch. That would make your sweater smell really good. Maybe I'll do that because I have right now currently a soap. Maybe I could leave it in there till I need it. Oh, you guys, you can smell the apple. You can smell the caramel. A little bit of cinnamon, maybe. I can smell the fig. Oh, it just smells like everything fall and everything just yummy. Hmm. All right. So there's that. Okay. The next company has sent two items for this box. And it's, it's Lambs and Thyme has featured two items in this box. Cider Mulling Spice and Popcorn on the Cob. Interesting. Cider Mulling Spice, our blend of spices in citrus, is a true mulling blend. Not just a sugary mix. Simmer with cider or juice for 20 minutes. Blend it with half cranberry juice for a Wisconsin-style beverage. Can be refrigerated and reheated. Enjoy this festive drink all winter long. It is nice during the holidays. My husband will like this. And you know what I like about it? I mean, it's got this little string on here. Can you imagine? You could actually, like, hang this in your tree. And, you know, as a surprise, surprise, you know, find there's a gift for you hanging in the tree. Um, so that's really neat. What does it say it has in it? It says place one tablespoon of spice mixture and it looks like it's a cup. There's at least two, maybe three tablespoons in here. Um, I can open this up because of the way they have that string. You can undo it and not have to cut it. So here's what the mulling spices are looking like. Okay. It says, place one tablespoon of spice mixture in a large tea ball or tie up in a cheesecloth or a coffee filter. Well, we have to coffee filter, so that'll work. Drop into two quarts warming cider or juice and simmer for 20 minutes. Remove spices. Our favorite is half cranberry slash raspberry and half apple juice. This mulled drink is festive and delicious. Leftovers can be refrigerated and reheated. And the ingredients are allspice, cinnamon chips, clove, and orange peel. I mean, doesn't get any simpler than that. That's all that's in there, guys. So, but my husband will love that. I, I wonder what it would taste like. I'm not really a fan of like apple cider or apple juice, um, but I do like cranberry. 
So I'm wondering if you add the cranberry to the apple, if maybe I might like this. I'm going to try it. I'm going to taste it. I'm going to get cranberry juice because we already have apple cider. Is it okay to add it to apple cider or should we get apple juice? It says, well, it says war, uh, cider or juice. So we'll just get the cranberry and add to it. Um, I'll taste it. It's a gourmet herb blend, MSG free. That's good because I'm... I got a sensitivity to MSG. That's causing me really bad heart palpitations. Uh, Gluten-free and all natural. Awesome. It doesn't tell you how many um, how many it should make. I, I would venture to say two. Um, and then there's the popping corn on a kernel. Let's see what it says about that. Popcorn on the cob. This novelty item is a real treat for kids and adults alike. The texture and flavor of popcorn popped right on the cob can't be beat. Made in the United States of America, handmade and small batch. It really is on the cob, guys. What does it say on here? Popcorn pops right off the cob. Directions. Place unwrapped ear in a paper bag. Fold over end of bag one inch from the top. Place bag in center of microwave. Heat on high power for one and a half to three and a half minutes. Time will vary with wattage. Do not leave microwave unattended. Stop popping or stop microwave when fast popping slows to one to two seconds between pops. Carefully open bag as cob is very hot. Some kernels may not pop due to uneven heat distribution in microwave. Season the loose and attached popcorn uh, kernels as desired. This unique treat is a result of blending the harvesting ways of the past with modern mar microwave methods. The ear of popcorn was handpicked the old-fashioned way. And the company is www.lambs, L-A-M-B-S, and time, T-H-Y-M-E dot com, lambs and time. So if you want to get one to, you know, as a novelty thing for your family or a few or whatever to do, because uh, I think this will be really cool. I'm going to do this with my granddaughter, um, Sometime in the next couple of days. That's really, really awesome. Okay, next is a life, a life, a string of lights with autumn leaves. It's got, um, it's battery operated at the moment. I don't have any double A batteries, unfortunately, or I would light them up for you. Um, I don't really want to open it and string them out all over my office or my uh, studio at the moment because right now I'm very cramped in here because I have DIYs going on and all kinds of things. So I'm going to leave it in the bag. You can imagine. I'll show you a picture they have right here. You know, you could string it. I, I could have, if it wasn't now approaching Christmas, I could have strung it up in my background and things, but I didn't get it in time and that's kind of sad, but you know, it's not their fault that somebody was dishonest. The mail carrier obviously put the key in the wrong mail cubby and somebody got it and said, thank you very much for the present. What do you do, right? It says, set the autumn atmosphere with this delightful string of leaf lights. Warm and fantastic light creates a warm, joyful, and festive ambiance. It can be a decoration, uh, the garden walls, Fences, flowers and trees, balconies, eaves, rooftops, patios, etc. Suitable for various of situations, such as birthday, wedding, bedroom, party, fashion, uh, fashion show, hotel, clubs, stage, and so much more, like bookcases behind a YouTuber. Bring fall to your home with a happy stuffed leaf. Remember, he's right there. Well, you can't see him now. Remember? It is made of durable ballistic canvas fabric for long lasting pet play sessions and includes a crazy crinkle and then packed with fluff. It is made for your pooch, but cute enough to use as decor, an office buddy or whatever you can imagine. And then there's items not pictured. Fall cat card. Oh, okay. Fall cat card. Oh, and you know, cats. I am the crazy cat lady. Look, he's sitting there and he's got a little scarf on that's blowing out behind him. See the yellow scarf and then leaves flying around him. Oh, it's called the dancing cat cards for the moderately crazy cat lover. www.jamies.com 
jamieshelman.com. J-A-M-I-E-S-H-E-L-M-A-N.com if you want to look up and see what other cards they have. That is cute enough to frame. Just saying. Might just go in my cat journal. All right. Fall cat card by the Dancing Cat. Handmade, woman-owned, made in the USA, small batch, and eco-friendly. And then advice from a pumpkin dec decorative coaster with an easel stand. All right. That must be this last item in the box. Can you see it? Let's take it out of the box and put it on its stand. I will use this more as a decor piece than, um, because really with a coaster, you kind of want a set of coasters, right? Unless it's like just a special one for you, which I do have a couple of those. But, um, I, and look, it gives you this nice little plastic stand. I just see this more as a, um, decorative piece because I love pumpkins. I My house used to be decorated year long with pumpkins because I lived near Circleville, Ohio. And if you look up Circleville, Ohio, that's their thing as pumpkins. They have a festival that's centered only you know around pumpkins. It's called the Pumpkin Show. And at the Pumpkin Show, it's like a fair, like a street fair with all kinds of carnival rides and carnival games and carnival foods. And um, they have things like the world's largest pumpkin pie, and they have huge pumpkins that they um, they have uh, like a competition to see who can grow the biggest pumpkin. And oh, it's just wonderful! I love it. Um, it says, "Give thanks for all bounty. Be well rounded. Have a thick skin. Be outstanding in your field. Ha ha! And think big." Advice from a pumpkin. Uh, let me turn it a little more. I'm trying not to drop it off the easel. And then it's on this little easel so it can stand up. Is that not cute? I will find a place for that. I need to clean some things off my shelves. It's getting very, very crowded. Um, I'll sit it there for the moment. And, you know, downsize a little bit. Like, put some things out away. Leave some things out. You know, switch it out instead of crowding it all in. I like to give everything its, you know, day in the sun. But now it's too crowded. All right. For your chance to win, just look for the FXY Fox in your Autumn Splendor magazine. You have it in your hand right now. Once you find Foxy, I, I think at FXY Foxy, email us at info at foxyboxco.com with Foxy Fox entry in the subject line and include where you found Foxy in this email or in the email, drawing takes place on the 15th of each month, and winners will be notified via email. Well, unfortunately, I missed this because somebody stole my box. More chances to win this month's prize. For September, November, we are giving away multiple prizes each month. Well, I missed out. That's always me, day late, dollar short. Lots of dollars short. All right, so let's recap, shall we? We got this absolutely stunning little card. Look at that fat cat sitting there. We got our mauling spices. We got our popcorn on a cob. We got our delicious scented goat milk soap. We got our uh, cook tavern soup. We got our um, leaf lights. We got our little leaf guy. We got our, can you see it? Pumpkin um, coaster slash sign. Did I miss anything, guys? Did I miss anything? I don't think that I did. If I did, I apologize. Um, what do you think? Um, apparently, these people send autumn-related things all year long, hence the name Everlasting Autumn. And since autumn is my favorite um, season, as I told you, I really thought that this was a box for me. Um, I love aut autumn things all year. I love pumpkin spice all year. I love, like I said, the sights, the sounds, the smells, the colors all year. Um, 
So I'm going to keep getting this box for a while, and I hope that you will enjoy watching me unbox it. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Do you get Everlasting Autumn? Have you ever heard of Everlasting Autumn? Uh, what is your favorite season? What, you know, did you like the box? Did you not like the box? Tell me, just, or just stop by and say hi. And please give me the big old thumbs up, because you know that does really seriously help my channel. As well as commenting. Commenting really helps my channel. Those things help that algorithm know that you're watching, you're listening, I have something worth seeing and hearing. I hope I do. And please subscribe to my channel and please share my video with others so that they might subscribe as well. And thank you so much for watching and for listening to me babble. And I'll see you again in a minute in another video. It's a video marathon, guys. I'm very behind. <laughs> Love you. Bye.